Hey everyone, we welcome to another episode of I Open Thing. I'm not really opening a thing this time, but I opened a lot of booster packs on my own. I thought maybe y'all would like to see what I get in them. So, we're just going to start with some cards. I'm only doing uncommons and rares and mythics because way too many commons to go through. So... Focus. Um, Quicksmith Genius. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Inventor's Apprentice. It gets plus one, plus one as long as you control an artifact. Spark of Creativity. Choose target creature. Exile the top card of your library. You may have Spark of Creativity. Deal damage to that creature equal to the exiled card's converted mana cost. If you don't, you may play that card until end of turn. Incendiary Sabotage. As an additional cost to cast it, sacrifice an artifact. It deals 3 damage to each creature. Furious Reprisal, it deals 2 damage to each of the target creatures and each of 2 target creatures and or players. Brazen Scourge, it has haste. Start your engines. Vehicles you control become artifact creatures until end of turn. Creatures you can control get plus two attack until end of turn. I've got two of those. Embrawl Bruiser. It enters the battlefield tapped and it has menace as long as you control an artifact. Make obsolete. Creatures your opponent's control get negative one, negative one until end of turn. I have a very small spot place to record in, in case if anyone's thinking I'm horrible. I am! But I have a few reasons, other than I don't know what I'm doing. Which, I mean, that's the main one, though. Aetherborn Marauder. It has flying and lifelink, and when it enters the battlefield, move any number of plus one, plus one counters from other permanents you control onto Aetherborn Marauder. Morbid cur Curiosity. As additional cost to cast it, sacrifice an artifact or creature. Draw cards equal to the converted mana cost of the sacrifice permanent. Gotta wait for it to try and focus. Underhanded Designs. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And pay Swamp and one to sa and sacrifice it. Destroy target creature. Activate this ability only if you control two or more artifacts. And I have two of those. Essence Extraction deals 3 damage to target creature and you gain 3 life. I didn't even say the name before, did I? Oh well. There you go. And I've got 2 of those. Which I like that one. Because I love life game. Consulate Surveillance. When Consulate Surveillance enters the battlefield, you get... Will you please focus, camera? You get four energy counters. Pay two energy counters. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn by a source of your choice. I wonder if you could be general about, like, monsters or something like that. I'll have to look that up. 
Fairgrounds Warden. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until it le until Fairgrounds Warden leaves the battlefield. Gear Shift Ace. First strike, and when it crews a vehicle, that vehicle gains first strike until end of turn. And I have two of those. Um, Sky Wheeler Shot, instant. Destroy target creature with power three or greater. Scry one. And I got two of those. Servo Exhibition. Create two one one colorless servo ad artifact creature tokens. And I've got two of those too. Focus. Minister of Inquiries. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Uh, you tap it and pay an energy counter. Target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Aether Meltdown. Flash. Enchant creature or vehicle. When Aether Meltdown enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Enchanted permanent gets negative four attack. You know, I wonder why they put reminder attacks on certain cards, but not like others. Like, I mean, Flash is not a new mechanic or anything. Why are they re putting reminder attacks now? I don't know. Glint Nest Kate. Crane. I'll speak English someday. Flying, and when it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. I'm sorry I'm not always catching when it gets out of focus, but I try to. And I have two of those. Era of Innovation. Whenever an artifact or artificer... I don't know if I'm saying that right, but enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, you get two energy counters. Pay two, four, six energy counters. Sacrifice error of innovation. Draw three cards. Some people love drawing cards, others don't. I have two of those. Gira per guide, which I'm probably saying that wrong too, but hey. Who's surprised? Um, pay forest and two. Target creature you control can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. And it's a three two. Not bad. Armorcraft Judge. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. And I do not like the flavor text on that one because it sounds stupid. But you know, whatever. There's always some I don't. I bet other people like ones I think are stupid, and I like ones that they think are stupid. So, um, creepy mode: destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Could really anger some people with that one. I just it. <clears throat> what? I didn't say anything. Arborback Stomper. Um, trample. When it enters the battlefield, you gain five life. Which is always a good thing in my account. In my opinion. Long Tusk Cub. Whenever Long Tusk Cub deals combat damage to a player, you get two energy counters. Pay two energy counters, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. The Cub, that is. Contraband Kingpin. Will you please thank you? Lifelink. Whenever it enters the bell, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. And two hours later, when it finally focuses, why are you not focusing?
Warlord Virtuoso. When enters the battlefield, you get three energy counters. Play three energy counters and create a 1-1 one, one colorless Thropter artifact creature token with flying. Voltaic Brawler. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. When it attacks, you can pay an energy counter. If you do, it gets plus one, plus one, gains trample until end of turn. Cloud Blazer. Flying. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life and draw two cards. And I've got two of those. Imperial Voyager. It has flying and trample, and when it deals combat damage to a player, you get that many energy counters. And I have two of those. Unlicensed Disintegration. Destroy target creature. If you control an artifact, it deals three damage to that creature's controller. I have two of those. Filadre. I, I can never say that word. Familiar. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life. When it dies, draw a card. Perpetual Timepiece. Tap. Put the top two cards of your library onto your graveyard. Into. Pay to exile it. Shuffle any number of target cards from your graveyard into your library. Fabrication Module. Whenever you get one or more energy counters, Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Pay four and tap. You get an energy counter. Iron League Steed. It gets haste. Fabricate one. Thank you. Foundry Inspector. Artifacts spells you cast cost one less to cast. Snare Thopter. Flying in haste. Demolition stomp Stompter. Um, it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Crew five. And that's it for this one. And I'll see y'all next time on I Open the Thing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.